mi gente! Welcome to the channel! My name is Camila, if you're new here. Today's video is a really fun video because I am visiting Euphoria TV locations in real life here in LA. So this is going to be your spoiler warning if you haven't seen season 1 or season 2 because I'll be talking about it which each location that I go and visit. And my first location, guess where I am? I am in Fez and Ashtray's family business, which is like the store. I believe it's in the first time we see it is in season one when Rue comes to buy drugs from Ashtray and Fez is sitting right here. And Rue is sitting like she's standing like right here. I don't know. She came in yesterday looking all Sailor Moon and shit. I'm thinking to myself, like, look like somebody Rue would get along with. Which was sort of like a dead-on observation for Fezco, who's not normally revolving in the same direction as planet Earth. So, how long you been back? Five days. And like, how you feeling? I mean, ever since I gave my life over to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, things have been like really good. I decided to kind of dress like Rue. I don't have the burgundy sweater that she has, but this is my Rue outfit. Yeah, you, you look My you look employer. like a you look like a drug addict that's I, having sex with Spider Man. <laughs> but you know what's so funny? It's actually a fake store, you guys. Like nothing in here. Oh, they left like some lighting actually. So you know how like, this is usually open? Yeah. So this is the family store, you guys. They're probably looking at me like, what are you doing? There's like security cameras around. They're probably oh. looking at me like, what is this girl doing? No one's <laughs> watching the security cameras. Unless you kill somebody, then they'll come back and look at them. Or I'm selling drugs. Like, let me just high ride her real quick. Fits the show. Right? Isn't that so funny? Production design like literally gets all the coke and like the snacks, everything, and they just create this whole illusion that this is actually a convenience store. Or family business, wink wink. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the second location. So we're driving to the second location and it's not in like the safest neighborhood. <laughs> we just saw three different car accidents in the same street with no one. It's like they left the cars there. And then the last one we saw the cops are like looking around like not again. Like every time. <laughs> like okay, looks like the the driver just left. And he just crashed into a pole and he just left it here. It makes you feel really good about being in this part of town. It's weird. They're just like left their cars there like mm, we'll get it another day. And gas is even more expensive here. Look at that. Oh Five my god, yes, yeah, 649! 650. <gasps> We're in the second location. This is from season two, episode one, where we meet Fez grandma and she goes into this strip club where she shoots Fez dad um, because he gave him a black eye and that's when she becomes um, Fez's guardian and caretaker, which is so crazy. Um, it's definitely set dressed because it didn't look like this in the show, um, but it's so funny. It's definitely a functioning strip club. Um, it's just daylight, so no one's here, which is kind of crazy. But imagine, like, I just come out like I'm the grandma. Fesco's grandma was a motherfucking G. There's a hooker? Guaranteed. Oh, shit, yeah, she just is. got dropped off from hooking. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> okay. Um, so guys, this is the 
third location we're in travel in from season one episode one where is the iconic scene when jules rides bike to this motel to meet up with nate's dad cal and you guys know what happens in that scene which is pretty freaking crazy and it is a pretty crazy location Jules told me later what had happened. But yeah, come on, let's, let's let's see it a little bit closer. So pretend I'm Jules and I'm riding bike. Very iconic location of the show. Pretty crazy. I don't know how production did it. They must have like just blocked everything off to just shoot those scenes really quickly and at night. Um, definitely a little girl should not be riding bike <laughs> in this location whatsoever. Okay, we should go. There's there's more people coming in. Perfect. Yeah, this angle today. Perfect, here we go. Let's actually take a shot right here. Oh, awesome. So we're in the next location. This is a season two, episode four, where Elliot, Jules, and Rue play Truth or Dare, and they get super wasted and high, and then they decide to rob this liquor store, and they rob White Claws, which is pretty stupid. I feel like if you're gonna rob a liquor store, maybe rob something better. Um, but it is funny that they do call the guy Kramer, I don't think Kramer is in there, um, but honey, do you dare me to go in there and rob the liquor store real quick? You gotta get us some white claws. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna distract the clerk. You're gonna steal the beer. And you do nothing. Cool? Alright. Alright. Cool. Break. Oh my god. Kramer, dude. Comedian, okay, thank you. Didn't you get canceled for saying like the N-word a bunch of times? Uh, you know what, Now man? you work at a convenience What's store? What's up, bro? Your Give me Twitter's shit. fucked up, I've always said that. And they're always taking shit too far, you know what I mean? What are you gonna do? Hey! hey. Kramer, Kramer! <laughs> How much is all this, anyway? Fucking motherfucker! <laughs> There's nothing that makes me angry in that fucking argument. Hey, that's, that's not what I was saying. You know, because every time someone survives like a mass shooting or some terrible fucking earthquake, they always say, you know, I survived for a reason. God saved me for a reason. I have a purpose. <laughs> and then I think to myself, like, okay, well, what you're saying is that your life is more important than that six-year-old who died that day or the newborn who died that day or anybody fucking else who died that day. Your life has a purpose, right? Well... Why does your life have a purpose and my dad's doesn't? Oh no, yeah, it's for sure closed. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta try. It's definitely a working yeah. Diner. I mean, it could be. I mean, it's not much set dressing needed. No. But they they show a lot of things here. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like this is also the diner from um, what is that movie called from Breaking Bad? You see Aaron Paul. I forgot what that movie is called. Oh, the second like El Camino. El Camino. Yeah. Maybe they they might have done that here. It's an easy shot of a diner. But they shot here also Gone Girl, CSI. I think they might have shot Mad Men here too, but I don't remember. At some point they could have. I don't know. But this location in Euphoria, this is the special episode for Rue where it, she meets Ollie for Christmas Eve dinner and they're just eating pancakes and they talk about all the things of her trying to be 
sober, but she's obviously lying. Um, right here. They just sit in this little booth and they talk. Do you know which booth? No, it's probably one of these in the middle. Because they, they shoot, production shoots it from that angle. This way. And the whole episode, it's like an hour long episode and they're just sitting in a diner talking. The whole episode is in the diner? Yeah. Basically, yeah. Wow, so they spent literally it's two after, weeks in the diner. Yeah, it's after Jules leaves room. So she's all sad, she relapses. And um, she's pretending like that she's sober and she has it all under control. Where, you know, she doesn't. So, yeah. I don't know, you guys. Did you guys like the new season? Did you guys think it was good? Um, I personally liked the first season more than the second season. But comment below if you guys actually watch the show if you guys like the show what do you guys think of it who's your favorite character um if you guys liked my fake brew outfit and my crazy druggy hair it's, i feel like my hair is like a poof ball <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and thank you again and i'll see you guys on my next video bye how old do you think this is all these, were built. All these kind of things, like these diners across America were built in the 50s. That's cool. Like the late 40s. Yeah. This is probably the 50s. Because this is built in the 50s too. This whole thing was probably all built at the same time. I'm hungry. Let's get out of here now. Yeah, I'm seeing those pies. I want a pie for myself. Me too. <laughs>